of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look here at the regional banks, the KRE. This is the one that our good friend Jim Bartolone told us to take a look at the short side there in late February. Turned out to be pretty good. But this is for our good friend Al down in uh, uh, Houston, Texas, and he had just taken profits. He was fortunate enough to buy it right off the bottom. And he made about a 20% profit today. You can see the ABCD structure. It hasn't quite made the 382 level, but it's still up a little bit. But to make that kind of a return in a market that had been dropping so much is a pretty good uh, indication that he knows how to handle risk. So congratulations, Al. You did the right thing. I'd take a look at the short side of that if it gets up there to that 382 level. That's the one thing I would be certainly looking at. Now, yesterday, at the end of the show yesterday, we were making new highs in the um, the NASDAQ, if you remember. I wanted to uh, get this up here to show you uh, what was happening because I said there's no way this thing's ready to go down yet because none of the other indexes had turned and it hadn't turned and had gone quite a bit above our level of uh, 13,000 and uh, uh, 13,000. 960 we went all the way up to 13,980 now you can see the ABCD pattern that is there and then there's also as you can see there's a beautiful three drive a butterfly pattern that is there it's a butterfly because this lower the one is lower in the middle makes it a butterfly if this were higher it would be a three drive to a top pattern so a butterfly pattern is nothing more than a failed Gartley but you can see it measures to within about five points of the exact high but what's interesting folks is what's happened since that time now you'll notice here this was a relatively short-term chart uh, th 13 minutes but but you'll know each bar is 13 minutes but you know that it's been going down considerably now what I did I followed this all night long because I was waiting to see if it was going to you know do its favorite favorite little trick of making a uh, 382 retracement well <laughs> Folks, you had to wait a long time for that one, and it missed it by about 10 points. But here's what it looks like, and when you extend it out, you'll see we almost made the 382 retracement. Now, we made the 382 retracement in the um, Dow Jones, okay, just spot on, hit it exactly. But the most amazing one, and the one that has been the most bullish, has been the Russell. And this is why I think you have to pay attention to these numbers. I mean, I like Fibonacci numbers. Uh, that probably is the understatement of the year that I like Fibonacci numbers. I love Fibonacci numbers. And let me show you why. Here is the Russell 2000. I'm going to get it up here. And you'll see how many times we have been to the 382 retracement in this over the last two and a half months. One, two, three. Four and today's high exactly again 382 off of this high right back here. That's one, two, three, four times it's hit it. This time it also had an A, B, C, D pattern lining up right here. To me, that interprets it as there's something really significant getting ready to happen in the stock market. Now, if the bond market is any indication, you know, that bond market is broken down. We had what we thought was a good trade yesterday, but in fact, it wasn't. It turned out to be a loss. We had some nice trades and some other things, but that bond trade just didn't work. The euros continued to work. Uh, the gold has continued to work. The, uh, um, the uh, stock indice is certainly doing well with the E-mini S&P being short up there at 42.22, but the bonds just didn't work. And the question is why, folks, 
I don't care why. That's a history trade, and I don't uh, look at it again when it gives me another pattern to look at it. But other than that, I shake it off and move on. It's just like a golfer that if he sh if he's if he hits a ball into the water, he doesn't throw his clubs into the water. He he just gets out another club and drops the ball and starts all over again. And that's what trading is all about. You've got to be able to do that. But but there's a, some big things happening. Very very. Uh, we're we're so close to a couple of things that I I, I really want to uh, share it to you. But the, before I do that, I wanted to uh, go over that silver trade that we uh, talked about uh, that Jim Twentyman uh, was giving us, and I wanted to bring it up to your attention here because uh, it was something very important happened, and we should report on that. This is the, the these are the numbers. You notice it uh, hits these lines, and the low there was at uh, twenty three uh, fifty. Okay, and this low here was perfect right at the 61% retracement. You notice that this one was not at any ratio. It was just maybe connecting. Okay, we said that was extremely important because of this number right here setting right below it, which is the 0 0.382 of the whole swing. And folks, I am really bullish gold and silver. Uh, you know, I am uh, haven't entered uh, either one of them as of yet, but I'm waiting to... To, to get the signal to to go long. It's a little bit lower than where we are uh, right now, but that's what I want to do. But let me update this silver, and you're going to see why this is so important. Hey, hey this is from my perspective too, folks. I mean, it might not mean anything to you at all, but it means something to me because it gives me a place where I can buy silver with a lot of confidence right in here at this 382 retracement, okay? And that that that's going to be pretty much spot on. Now, it's not going to fit this this uh, fulcrum line, the 20 min line that we talk about, that failed because once we went below 2350, that said we're probably going to come down here to 20, uh, 2290. That's that's basically what it's trying to tell you. So that's the next time that you want to be watching it is at that level. This level here, you realize we dropped over four dollars an ounce here. This would be three dollars an ounce down into here and be sitting right at a 382, and that's not very far away. So we need to be watching that. Those of you that get the videos each day, you'll see we, we went through this whole sequence to say that's what you want to do is to wait for that level. Have the patience to wait because when it does happen, by golly, it'll probably give you a better chance to do something than uh, you might not think that it might. You know, that's uh, pretty much it. I wanted to post the chart. I posted the chart of NVIDIA when the other show started. Here was a place. This market has been going straight up for so long high being 319 and the last night the earnings were extremely good sales were good everything was good and yet the stocks down about six or seven dollars today that's because the news follows the trend folks and the trend was over when it got to 319 that doesn't mean it can't get to 320 420 520 but right now 319 has capped that nasdaq market and that's why the nasdaq has sold off as much as it has today is because of stocks like Amazon, NVIDIA, Google, and Apple, all down a little bit, and that's enough to put that index down. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648. Mike Moore, Moore Analytics, will be our guest at the half-hour break, so stay with us. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're going to talk just a little bit about trade strategy here. Now, we bought corn uh, last Friday at uh, 492. Uh, today, it's trading at uh, 417. Well, high was 419. At that level, you can see there's a really nice ABCD pattern here lined up perfectly. Now, the $64 question is, does it explode higher and never look back? Or does this mean there's going to be another correction of 11 cents? Well, the overall trend is down. And last night, we had a strategy to buy November beans, and it worked perfectly. We bought it at the 382. It touched the 50% and then rallied 12 cents or $600. And I said last night, as I laid my head on the little pillow and said my prayers, Oh, boy, is it going to be a big day tomorrow? But what I did was, after I had seen that the bonds or the the, the beans had moved so much, I said to move your stop at the break-even point just in case they would sell off and you wouldn't want it to go to a loss after being ahead $600. Well, when the old bell rang to wake me up today, the old Phil was right there, and we had taken a profit of $600 and given it all back, didn't lose anything, but we broke even and the course of beans continued to go down a little lower. With that strategy in mind, and I'm looking here at this ABCD pattern, and by now you've made $1,500 on the trade you were risking $500 on, that's a three to one risk reward ratio. That's the number that's based on the floor traders handbook of 30,000 euro trades over a period of 15 years. So I have to take profits here. If I uh, have to buy it back at a higher price, I'll buy it back at a higher price. But right here is an area where I think we're going to see a correction. And therein, the key words there are I think, not I know. There's a too big difference. And so that's why I'm handling the way that I do. I've had three or four people ask me because I was so bullish with the beans asking the, acting the way that they did last night. But that all changed in the morning, and so I had to change my opinion on that trade. And so I decided to take profits here, and I'll buy it back at a better price. I know the old adage is there's nothing wrong with taking a profit. Well, there is something wrong with taking a profit, and that is if you think it's going to go a whole lot higher and you take a profit just to be taking a profit, 
that's not right. I'm taking a profit because it's an AB equals CD pattern and we're still in a bear market. If, now, the next question is, why don't I go short? I'm not that brave <laughs> because I'm still very bullish to corn and still very to beans. But this is the place where I think the profit has to be taken. OK, now we have Mike Moore coming up here in about 10 minutes, which always has some great stuff. And he's certainly been spot on with the crude oil concept. But we've got another one, folks, that is really set up now. And uh, it's in the newsletter. We mentioned it yesterday. I want to get it up here. It's the U.S. dollar index. And, of course, the reverse of that is the euro, which we've been short uh, since Hector was a pup. And that, that uh, dog was a pup about three and a half weeks ago. Here's where we are. We're almost exactly to the 61% retracement. Now, this is 53% of the value of the euro. In other words, the euro is 53% of the euro uh, of the dollar index, okay, because that's the U.S. dollar. Now, what we want to do now is we want to reverse this, and we want to see what the euro looks like. And that's what we've been doing, because we've been very bearish the euro for a considerable amount of time. Now, here is what the euro looks like. Now, this is going back... You can see up there at that 110 level, that was a 61% retracement on the weekly chart, and it was also a three drive to a top pattern. And there it is right here, and this is where we are now. We are only 30 pips away from it hitting this level. Now, we might go crashing through here and never look back, but this is the area where you're getting to be the moment of truth because look at it, folks. You've been really close here now. Three days in a, world, in a row, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday. It's the fourth day that we've been right near this level. So all it takes is to get down just a little bit more and hold that level. And that tells us that we're probably getting ready to see the euro rally, i.e. the dollar react a little bit to the downside. What would that do? That would send gold and silver a little bit higher, maybe a lot higher. All I know is... These are critical levels that I'm looking at right here, and that's why I'm following it so very closely in the videos each night is to show you how close we are. These, these numbers are so accurate on these things. It's scary. It really is. Now, here it is. Here it is, the gold. I have to show you the gold last night just to give you an example of how well these numbers line up. Of course, you know we've been bearish gold for quite a while, but as you'll see, because we think we're going to uh, 19... 15 to 1905 but look at the 382 retracements over the last few days folks this is it's a 60 minute chart look at that there's a perfect 382 here perfect 382 here now we made a lower low uh, down in here today and we've rallied back up to touch these levels again so that tells us that we might be at a pretty good bottom here today but as of early this morning it looked like it was ready to fall out of bed but we've rallied up another $15 to get back into the 382 level of the whole thing one more time. So again, what you're looking at here is if you're watching a 60-minute chart, keep your eyes on the 60-minute chart because that's what brings you to the promised land. So see what the next retracement is going to be up into this level because if we get much lower down into this level, we're going to hit that 106.90 or 107 level. And that's going to be a really important number because of the fact that it's a 61% retracement on the daily on the euro. And the reverse of that, it's 61% on the upside of the U.S. dollar index. And that's why it's uh, important. And those numbers, you see them each time you do the charts. You'll see them on the Japanese yen. You'll see them on the Canadian dollar, the Australian dollar. You know, anything that's actively traded, you're going to see these numbers appear. And that's why you want to pay close attention to them as you're seeing these things unfold, you know, each day, because that's what gives you the edge. And the edge means you have an idea of what the pro what the pattern's going to be. But remember, when that pattern fails, your edge goes out the window. You've got to put in, you know, the uh, reciprocal is protect your backside. In other words, always... You know, have your stop in to protect your loss because, you know, it's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. And if you don't lose a lot, you're going to make a lot. That's the bottom line of uh, what you're looking for on these things. So I certainly hope that that makes sense because that's what I live and I don't want to use that other word that starts with a D. What I live and think about all the time 
is how to protect these profits uh, that we have. And then when it, they, uh, we haven't had any, oh, knock on wood, uh, you always worry about that string of losses, and they will come. You're going to have a time period where you're going to have five or six losses in a row. But all that means is you're just five or six uh, trades away from your next string of winners. That's all that really means, folks. So you got to shake it off. And uh, and that, that's one thing that I've been able to do over the years. I learned that from uh, just watching, you know, the equity uh, curves and stuff that I followed through the years, especially during the time when I was handling a large amount of money for Drexel. I could see the curve was up, so do the right thing. Hey, we'll be right back with Mike Moore of Moore Analytics, 877-927-6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Mike Moore, more analytics on the line. Mike, how are you doing today? Great, Larry. How are you? Uh, still living the green, baby. Uh, still living the dream on the green side of the grass. Everything's good. 88 degrees here in the Pueblo, so it's a really balmy day for us. Tell us about wow. the crude oil market, my friend. It looks like it's ready to take off to 80 bucks. Am I correct? So the crude, let me pull that up here. Just backing up uh, from where we left off last time, 
Uh, the trade above 65, 31 to 30, warned of decent strength. We've seen 858 of that so far. And we left it on 55. We left another bullish reversal below, which we've seen 344 from. And uh, let me just see here. Trade below. So right now, we've just been consolidating here. I'm just about ready to break out of another formation right here. And as we spoke last time, I think we were in a lower time frame bullish structure here at a lower time frame bearish correction. And I think this may be resuming a new bull structure. So we break above this line above. I think that'll project this higher, although it's not the greatest formation in the world. But that comes in at 73.32 minus 0.2 of a tick per hour, which means it's basically 73.31 right now. This lower line, though, is a is a more well-formed formation. That came into 71.31 plus 1.3 per hour. Uh, this morning, and that comes in at um, 71.38 as of 2 o'clock. So a break mm -hmm. below there is probably going to project this down with a couple dollars. But right now, I'm bullish. And also, I just note that the DST spread, which is a spread of 12 months in the back curve of the crude oil complex, uh, that also broke above a formation here a couple days ago. Pulled back to it, chopped around, broke above another formation, and has been heading higher. And that if we leave a maintain gap higher today, that would also be a sign of strength. So we'll have to see if we continue to motor higher. Um, do you want to take a look at the RBOB and the heat or the natural? Mix? Yeah, whatever you whatever you think is best, because you've done a really good job giving this direction of this market. So you know the spreads and where the mm -hmm. demand's coming from. So please uh, share us the information. Uh, that you have. Okay, so it's important to note that, right? Because what's the first thing you asked about? Crude oil, right? Yep. Because that's what a lot of people trade. But looking at this spread right here, this is what's called the RBOB crack spread, right? This no. is the spread between the unleaded gas and the crude oil. Now, I said the trade above 2757 has brought in 700 and 794 ticks of strength. So let's just take a look here. 27. I've been long since down here. 27.57 in here. Say right about there. You can see in a matter of two and a half weeks, if you were along the unleaded gasoline instead of the crude oil, you would be up $8,170 more per contract than you would be the crude. What it also says is the RBOB of the unleaded gas is leading the charge to the upside, which also makes sense because we're going into summer driving season, right? Yep. And on the same token, if you were to look at the heating oil crack, the heating oil crack was also leading a drive up, but then a couple of days ago fell below this formation and turned bearish, meaning that if you were if you alone the heat instead of the uh, crude, you would have been down 2500 um, relative to the crude. And then when this is going in one direction and the other is going in the other direction, you have great opportunities uh, for a hedge, let's say, right? So if you want to be long something and short something else, being long the RBOB to heat spread would have been a good hedge. And we've been bullish in here. I think you guys remember I said we were starting a bullish correction in here. And that's to the, that's to the effect of almost 11 grand in two weeks. Does that make sense? Meaning they sure rather, if, if, you, you know, they're all related, they're all moving, but I'd rather be long, if I was long the unleaded gas, I'd rather be short the heat against it as a hedge. And just yeah. just yeah. having that spread on, you could have made 11 grand over the past couple of weeks. Mike, and I've this also broke above a massive formation in here uh, just a couple of days ago. I think we talked about this on the show last time. And you can see that pop that's come up ever since. Um, I, have a question. I have a question, Mike. Yeah. Do, do you have uh, do you have clients that uh, you do hedging for? Yes. Okay, because you know I've been in this business a long time and worked. No, not that Air. not that I do hedging for. I but you just tell them what the direction right is. is for hedging. I'm sorry. Yeah. I shouldn't say. Well, the thing that I remember the most about these guys that are in the lumber business and in the cattle business and in the grain business, they only know how to do one thing. They put a Texas hedge on. And I asked the question when I'm 18 years old. I says, what the heck is a Texas hedge? Long the futures, long the cash. You know, so they're real gamblers. Right. 
you know, a lot of right. times they just throw those hedges out the window or just play the roll the dice. So I hope the folks realize that. And even though they're professionals, they still have a tendency to believe in their products and sometimes to an extent that uh, they get hurt by it. So look at lumber. It went from $1,800 a cubic foot to $380 a cubic foot. Right. Yeah, unless you're building a house. And it's still, it's still to that point, I'd like to just point something out real quick. You know, there's a lot of other ways to make money in the energies. And one of them, for instance, is like the front month spread in, in the RBOP, right? That's being long the front month spread and short the back month or the, the second month. And a lot of times this spread is very quiet. But it presents a significant upside opportunity at certain points of the year, right? Maybe only a few points. But if you're on it the right way, you can have a lot of size on for very small risk and have an explosion in equity. So, for mm -hmm. instance, you know, the volatility down here is very low, right? Down here was just sort of chopping around. So it, it's not like a huge downside risk because we had been up high somewhere like this and then it rolled over. It was just sort mm -hmm. of chopping around. And then when this thing took off, for example, like I had my clients down long down here for certain reasons and then the break above this this formation – you know, that's to the tune of 3,300 a contract. Now, that may not sound a lot as compared to the crude oil, but you got to understand it spreads. You can have a lot more of them on than you would a single contract in, in the crude oil. Mm -hmm. So if, you're, if your average volatility on a day right here is, say, 75 ticks, whereas crude is 200 ticks, right, you could have 3x these on. And if you look... Mm -hmm. Just as a quick example here, you know, this volatility here is almost 2x what the the volatility of since back in June was in a matter of six days. Mm -hmm. So the point I'm trying to make is that some of these spreads offer enormous opportunities at certain times of the year that if you're just patient and you wait for them, uh, they can avail themselves. So like some of my clients – just look for some of these some of these opportunities that present themselves at different times of the year. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense, Mike? Yeah. The problem is, Mike, we've not been able to see. Uh, of course, you're going to be on the show the next uh, the next uh, segment. I'm not even sharing my screen. I'm so sorry. Yeah, we haven't been able to see that. But the one the one uh, request we're having. Uh, well, I'll, I'll bring the request back after we pay a few bills. We got to pay a few bills. Yeah. We'll be back with Mike Moore of More Analytics. Sounds good. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today 
and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, with Mike Moore of Moore Analytics, and I believe we're showing you charts now spot on. The one yep. chart that they're asking for is if it's a spread chart of the gasoline, like long the nearby short to deferred, what that spread chart looks like so that they can interpret it like they would a regular uh, chart. Right. So here, here's, the front month, here's the front month chart right now. This is the June-July spread. Now, okay, now that's this that's is a be coming off the board in a couple of days when June expires. Okay. Okay. But you can see right in here that that this volatility here is gigantic. Thirty eight hundred dollars in a spread is huge. Oh. And you can see that it's moved the amount of volatility in the past ten days, you know, is almost double what you've seen since last July, almost a year in here. Mm -hmm. Wow. And the, the point I was saying is if it's quiet and it takes off you can have a lot of spreads on down here for very low risk. And then when it starts to go, it just goes. Mm -hmm. And on my, my charts, I've had my clients long down in here and then long above this formation here and then long above this formation. So there's ways that you can layer in and layer in and really route and, and really hold them out of here. And then we just held this exhaustion level almost dead on right here at 1296, uh, at 1294 with the 1296 high and started to roll over. But I'll just Mike, give you an example here. I just I made this chart while we were on on, uh, on break. So this is a, this is a chart of the daily continuation chart of the front month of the RBOB, and you can see like these these big spikes that you get. Like see how low the volatility is here, and then boom, a big spike. You know how low the volatility is here, and then this huge spike. And, and so if you, if you can have a lot of size on when it's low volatility and then catch one of those rides, you just can make an enormous difference in your equity uh, at different times of the year. And then there's some seasonality. So you, you see this vertical line right here? That's around uh, October 20th, 2012. You see this big spike up? Mm -hmm. And then around the next 20, the 22nd of October 13, see this big spike up. Mm -hmm. And then right here, around the same time, this is a smaller spike. You still see it from the same time. And then here around the 19th, and then here on the 18th, this big run-up. And then wow. here around the 2nd, this big run-up. So there's also seasonality there that you can uh, capitalize on mm -hmm. that can be enormous. Now, what does that mean what? to you for all you traders? That doesn't mean that you have to be sitting there glued to the Arbob front month spread every day. Because you drive yourself nuts because there might be months that go by that is very quiet. But what you do want to do is take a quick eye on the analysis and say, hey, did he say to get long? Did he say to get short? And then be aware of these different seasonalities and just say, hey, it may not be dead on this day, but in this time frame here, there's a very high likelihood of this market moving hard. And I want to be really dialed in on those time frames. Does that make sense? Mike, I have a question. What yep. let's say the margin margin on crude oil is say six thousand dollars. What's the margin on the June July uh, spread? 
It would be a fraction of that. Be twenty five percent offhand, but it, it might be fifteen hundred or two thousand dollars or something like that. Okay, that's roughly yeah, twenty twenty five percent. Okay, that that is huge leverage. That's for sure. I mean, which makes sense, right? Because your volatility is basically one third or less mm -hmm. than what it is in crude. But on top of that, you're long one month and short the other month mm -hmm. of of a singular commodity. So that's a hedge yeah. within the hedge, if that makes sense. Yep. I, I remember it very well. <laughs> um, and I just wanted to just go over and show you these other pages that I, I didn't have them shown before. But this is an example of the heat crack that I was talking about. Even though the crude's been rallying, you know, we've been long in here since 27.57. And uh, that financial difference is over eight grand, you know, in just, on, uh, just about two and a half weeks. So... It's very, very important if you're trading the crude oil to understand what is going on in the RBOB and what is going on in the heat because they are going to lead the direction of the market 85 mm -hmm. to 90% of the time. Wow. Now, if the market was coming off right now, right, I'd probably expect it's more likely the heat leading the downside because that's got less demand. Or if it's rallying, that the, the RBOB would be leading the, the upside because we're going into the summer season. Mm -hmm. that's you want me to jump over to natural gas? Yes, sir. There, that's Are any questions two. there before I, I go over? Uh, no, so far so good. Yeah, they're doing great. Okay. So natural gas, if you recall, last time we've been in this this massive downward move. I mean, we've been bearish since uh, since the break below eight forty four, and then had this massive uh, projection down from four ninety nine thirty for two twenty seven minimum. 3.7 plus maximum, um, and we attained a little over $3 of that lower, and then a whole bunch of other stuff. But most recently, I said that we, we were poised to hold a macro exhaustion level down here at um, 203.10, and we held that on the debt. Well, this is the July contract, but if we go back in the June contract, the June contract dead low was actually 203.10, and then we've been rallying up ever since with you know, different bullish formations on the way up. And I said that this, if this turns into a macro correction, it could exceed 990 ticks from whatever the low is, which would be up in the air somewhere. Mm -hmm. That said, we just rolled into July. This is a completed lower time frame bullish structure, and we're now in a bearish correction against that structure. We left a gap open lower yesterday, right here. Mm -hmm. And we also came back down through this, uh, these apex of, of peaks right here and started rolling over. So currently we're bearish, um, but I would be keen on looking at these different exhaustion levels on the way down, seeing if any of those hold. One of them comes in here at 247.70 to uh, 245.60, and the one below that comes in at 238 to 235.80. If we hold either one of those, it has the potential to start this in a whole new bull structure. But the gap lower and the failure below this formation and that formation presently has a bearish. You got to go to, uh, okay. I hear the music in the background. <laughs> Is it time no, for no, a break? It, 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 no, it will be soon. It will be soon. I have a question, uh, and that is right. on the natural yeah. gas. It, uh, if you have anybody that's in the in the business, are they are they concerned about the fact that New York wants to stop, uh, you know, uh, gas furnaces and natural gas furnaces and and barbecue pits and stuff like that? Is are they worried about things like that? I'd be concerned as a New Yorker because I'd really be pissed off. But <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't really, you know, I haven't really gone under a lot of ears on that. I mean, they've been threatening forever about you know, alternative fuels and stuff. And eventually I think that that stuff will come up. But uh, the spikes in the price of this stuff uh, can happen at any time for any reason, regardless of what New York may be yeah. doing or California may be doing. Yeah, we were at so, $10 last year. Now we're at, uh, you know, 250 That's a big drop. That's for yep. sure. Yeah, and we're going to pay a few bills here. And what we'll do, Mike, is we're going to have you back at two thirty, and make sure we'll have your uh, charts up to go over some of those charts because the folks are asking for them, and we'll we'll review those on the second show. Is that okay? Okay, are we done for this show? We're done for this show, and what we'll do is okay. we'll see you at uh, two thirty uh, on the next segment. 
Sounds great. Thank you, Larry, and thank you for everybody watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on okay. the next show. You bet. We'll be right back, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted the weekly chart of the NASDAQ with our price objective that we had at 13960 We got as high as 13976 uh, last night. And, of course, we sold off a couple hundred handles uh, from that level. Whether that means anything or not, I'm not sure. But the fact that it hasn't been able to rally uh, even to a 382, at least so far today, uh, does mean that there's some bearishness coming in uh, to the market. We won't know for a few days to see if that's going to be the case. But with the Dow Jones hitting the exact 382 retracement and then Russell hitting the exact 382 retracement for the fourth time in the past seven months, uh, that's another reason to think this may be a significant topping action. And remember, it was done mainly because of the stock of NVIDIA. Uh, it went from a price of 245 all the way up to 319, and that exploded that uh, stock uh, along with the NASDAQ index because it's 5.6% uh, 
of the NASDAQ, and that's what got it up as high as it did. And uh, since that time, we had good earnings yesterday, supposedly, in uh, NVIDIA, and yet the stock is off today. But the high yesterday was 319, which measures to an ABCD pattern that we did talk about uh, yesterday on the show. And I think I'll bring this up just to show you that sometimes these ABCD patterns uh, do work. Unfortunately, they don't work all the time, but when they do work, it gives you a pretty good idea of where you stand on some of these things. Well, on the second part of the show here, we're going to go into some of the agricultural stuff that we talked a little bit about yesterday because we've had some uh, more information come to us uh, uh, regarding this um, El Nino situation that's potentially out there, and we had a little bit of a movement uh, in some of these things, but it was very, very minor, nothing like a weather market or anything anywhere near that. So those are just a few of the things that we were going to be covering with Mike Moore as our guest also, 877-927-6648.